Thank you to my Patreons for supporting the channel and allowing me to be able to hire a lawyer for when architects finally band together to sue me for all the well-deserved torment I have sent their way. Like what you're about to see in this video. Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to World Box. The game where you can become a god and simulate the entire world. And today we'll be simulating the ultimate showdown. No, not Coke versus Pepsi. Not cats versus dogs. No, not even Microsoft versus Sony. Today we're taking two groups of humans, one of which will be really poor. They'll literally start with nothing. But they'll be super intelligent, absolute geniuses. And we'll name these guys the engineers. Their enemy will obviously be the architect. They are super overpaid, so they'll be starting out super rich with easy access to every resource. But just like in real life, they will have zero intelligence. So who's going to win? Rich idiots or poor geniuses? So to start off, we don't want this. This is just the earth. We want something a bit more custom. So let's wipe all of this by replacing it with deep ocean. So let's just delete all of that. Delete down Africa. Delete a bit of Russia. And we'll just delete everything. Literally delete everything. So there's now absolutely nothing here. You may see a few dots. And if we zoom in, like, like there's a little rhino and a monkey. I'm sorry. Uh, you, you are going to die because when I press play, all the sea will come to the middle. Um, and the rhino, which is just wandering around like that, he's, oh, no, he's going for a swim. And presumably, these animals, they can't swim forever. So we'll let the water go into the middle. We'll simulate this for a little bit just so we got a completely fresh tile. All right, there's seven beasts left. They've been swimming for six years. <laughs> How are they so good at swimming? Wait, 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 wait. I've just realized I'm God. I don't need to wait for natural causes of death. I can literally do whatever I want. So I'm going to spawn Crabzilla. Right, Crabzilla, we've got to destroy all these swimming animals. Die. Right, there's one over this way. Boosh. Two up there. Boosh, boosh. Right, okay. Now we have a clear map. Oh, no, they spawned into little crabs. All right, well, let's just drop one of them on there. Boosh. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Quite excessive, but now we have a completely clear map. So next up, we've got to actually build the land. I think we're just going to go with plain soil for now. And let's just fill in all of this. So then we're left with just land, a completely square block. And then I guess the way I want to do this, I probably want to spawn something in one corner, one in the other corner. So let's cover the entire area in grass. Except no, apparently these grass seeds, they came with like trees and sheep, apparently. So I'm going to remove all of that from one side of the map because I don't want to get accused of cheating. Right, so there we go. Now we just need to make sure this bottom left one has all the resources they need to thrive. So we're going to give them some fruit bushes, which have delicious fruits, a source of food. We're then going to give them some stone, some silver, some ore, even adamantite, one of the best metals. So then we're nearly ready to spawn our humans. But first, we just got to set up the world laws. So I'm turning off rebellions. We don't want people to rebel against each other. They must only fight their enemies. Uh, we'll turn off hunger as well because we don't want people dying of hunger, just of war. Same with old age. People can live forever. I've turned off natural disasters and other disasters because we don't want anything to go to chance. This is a well-engineered scientific experiment. But I will allow trees and plants to appear randomly just so we have some chance for our engineers up the top. Right, let's now head into the animal slot. We're going to spawn a load of these humans. So we'll start in the bottom left corner. And wow, when you zoom in, you really get a scale for this place. It is huge. So I reckon let's spawn a hundred of these. Okay, 103. Oh, they've already started building. Right, pause, pause, pause. Because if we click on one of these, we can go to their thing and we can rename it. It's not going to be Basava. It's going to be Rich Idiots. And that's Architects, in case you weren't aware. And just to make sure, we'll rename it. I don't know. What is Eshawesh Hegemini? <laughs> No, these are the architects. Right, so in order to ensure these guys are stupid, we're going to give them the, the trait of stupid. That may as well read architecture. So we just sprinkle that on all of them. They're now stupid. And they'll also pass that down to their kids as well. Then we're going to head up to this corner over here. Spawn our 100 engineers. There we go. 103 again. Us engineers, we like to round. We'll call the starting town... Poor genius. 
which does actually sound like like an old city, like poor oh, genius. Then they are the kingdom of engineers, obviously. Then these ones are not stupid. No, they are going to be geniuses. And we'll find out whether all that intelligence will help, even though they have no resources. So let's just sprinkle that over you guys. Then I guess we let the battle commence. Now, I'm most intrigued to see what the geniuses are doing. Oh, look. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, they formed they formed a new settlement already. I don't understand. How are they how are they building stuff? There's no trees about. They must have wood from somewhere. I mean, I guess trees are meant to always spawn. But yeah, oh look, the geniuses, they're all heading inside a house. Man, that house fits a lot of They're all going inside it. What? <laughs> you can't all fit in there. Okay, maybe maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe they definitely can all fit in there. Is that... Hang on, what are they doing in there? Are they going to multiply? But anyway, the geniuses seem to be getting on back down here. Oh, look. The rich idiots have also done the same. They've split into two. So yeah, down here, there's, there's 106 people in total. So somehow, the genius engineers are multiplying faster. And I tell you what, they are growing their city really fast. So you got three, four buildings up there. Three in that one. Yeah, the idiots, they seem to be doing the same. I mean, they've they got access to trees and wood a lot easier. Doesn't look like they've discovered any of the resources that are literally on their doorstep. Yeah, and I'm quite intrigued to know whether these guys will actually discover that first. Right, anyway, let's fast forward through some years and see, <laughs> see how long it's going to take these guys to discover all these resources that could really help you. Oh, look, they split into another town, Detebi. And look, they are mining so that could actually help them quite significantly, I think. Yeah, it's year 20 at the moment. I'm actually quite worried for the engineers. How are they getting on? Are they split into three as well? I don't understand how they've built so many buildings. Like, there's nothing up here. That really is an incredible feat of engineering. I'm very impressed. I was going to say they're multiplying fast, but no, actually, people, they seem to be leaving the original town of Poor Genius and creating these new ones, which I guess you need a lot of intelligence to even pronounce them. So maybe maybe I shouldn't be rooting for these guys. Maybe I should be rooting for these because I can actually pronounce most of these. Anyway, oh, look, they have started mining the silver. Oh, wow, they are really eating through that rock as well. But yeah, we'll fast forward a bit and see. Oh, man, they are absolutely blitzing through all that resource. And look, all the silver's being munched up as well. They haven't discovered any of these resources yet. But yeah, you can see they've sure taken a chunk out down there. Meanwhile, the uh, the grass actually seems to be heading towards the geniuses which could actually help them out because that'll give them significantly more resource as well as access to loads of sheep, which I'm sure they'll come up for a use for. All right, it's now year 34. All of these guys, they're literally as old as I am. Uh, you can see the architects, they, they have started taking out all of these resources now. You can see they've properly expanded into those. So the metal and adamantite, they have all been taken. And the man, these guys are expanding. They're expanding so fast. But what have the engineers managed in my lifespan? Let's go have a look. I mean, they split up into loads of different colonies. I'm quite worried about the, the numbers, though. Is that the downside with intelligence? You can't, like, get on with each other because you always think you're better than everyone else. Anyway, the good news for these guys is the, the grassland has now made it all the way over, which means they've got access to chopping down trees for easy wood and therefore can build and expand even quicker. I'm just worried they've gone with the quantity of villages rather than the quality. So if we let this pan out for a few more years, you see the engineers are definitely expanding at a faster rate than the architects. But every time the architects expand, they get access to another resource. And look, it looks like they now have gold access. And oh no, look, Kingdom Architects has declared war on engineers. Oh no, they're battling already. So interestingly enough, it was it was the architects that started this. Should be quite interesting to see what happens. You can see they are fighting in the trees. <laughs> the sound effects are adorable. Right, actually, it looks like engineers are absolutely smashing this war. They're now fighting over the gold. Ferocious battle. Oh, the engineers didn't win. The architects defended their gold. But... Oh dear, the engineers have taken over this. The city of Lenver. So this was the one that took the gold initially. That is now owned by engineers. And it looks like they are sending an army to try and take down all the architects. There's going to be a ferocious battle on the front line here. I mean, you would expect the architects to win this because they've... Well, they should have all the armor. They've got access to all these resources. They should have been making metal armor with this ore. And... 
Oh, and yeah, look, they have taken back their city. Oh, not only that, they've actually come up here. No, the architects have invaded the engineers. They took over Yatabi, but don't worry. The engineers are taking it back. And is it claimed? Yes, it's claimed, it's claimed. Okay, so things are sort of back to normal. I mean, they're still at war. They're still sending armies to each other. But for now, both sides are sort of as they were. Although I can see armies literally going past each other. So the architects are attacking up north. This guy's going while they're attacking. Oh, actually, maybe that's what he's doing. He's like, they've just sent all their armies to take our base. What if I sneak down here and take theirs? Unfortunately, it does not seem to be going well because the architects have taken over two towns. I mean, to be honest, maybe that's why the engineers split up because although they've lost two towns, they still own like all the ones surrounding. So yeah, look, they're fighting back. They are fighting back. Come on, engineers. Use your brains. Use your brains. Yes, they won. They've got it back. Meanwhile, down here, how is the... <laughs> There's the lone engineer just going in like, don't mind me, farmers. I'm just going to sneak in. He probably could talk his way out a bit like proper do a Star Wars. Move along. Move along. Move along. Oh no, he's been caught. He's been caught. He, yeah, that that didn't work, did it? Anyway, the architects now somehow they've they've stumbled upon a thing of engineering. They thought they were just designing that for the looks, but uh, they've realised they can actually use the windmill power to uh, actually create flour from wheat and all sorts. So yeah, that is the trouble with architects. They'll try some radical things and occasionally they will pull them off. Now, up here, there is there is a hell of a battle going on. Oh, look, the engineers have windmills as well. Oh no, there's a hell of a battle going on. I feel like the extra armor and weapons from all those resources has really helped the architects. Oh, they are, they are falling. The engineers are falling. Their army is not very big. <laughs> Oh, and look at this. This is the, the architecture army coming down. Oh, no. They're being ravaged. They're being ravaged. Come on, engineer. Fight back. I know you're outnumbered, but... Okay, you're, you're doomed. You're doomed. Oh, look at the population of this place. Nice. Yeah, another another village has been... Has it been taken? Yeah, it's just about to be taken. Oh, no. Engineers, what are you doing? You're meant to be using your intelligence. Although, look at the resources the architects have. I mean, it's sort of no wonder... No, look, another town is falling. Another town is falling. <laughs> My engineers, what happened? I mean, it would be a shame if there was a heat ray that just obliterated the architect army, right? This definitely isn't cheating. Oh, no, actually, I've set a fire. I've set the fire. In the <laughs> I've set a fire in the middle of the engineering hub. I mean, to be fair, we should have known that the engineers were working on satellite laser technology just so they could... Boosh, obliterate their enemies from above. All right, look, the engineers, they're actually fighting back now. They're taking back Fal Faro. And maybe there is hope, although there are armies on the way. It would be ashamed if they got lasered. This is not cheating. This is engineering. Boosh. All right, so despite... <laughs> Despite me obliterating like most of the map, uh, you can see the engineers in pink are very, very much in trouble. They're literally surrounded. I guess we'll let this run a little bit longer and see whether the engineers can make a comeback or not. I'm I don't feel confident. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it that way. This is gonna be painful for me to watch. Just sit by, do nothing. But I am trying to be unbiased here. Oh look, look, the engineers, they just started a new city, a one-man city, right next to forest fires. <laughs> Are you sure these guys are intelligent? There's an army literally right there. I'm not sure why they're not doing anything. Are they just not intelligent enough to, like, see that the engineers are regrouping? I don't know. But this city is growing quite significantly. Oh, man. Fo what the? F There's literally forest fires everywhere. But yeah, I think because we're in the age of sun, there's just there's just constant heat waves and forest fires everywhere. Look at all the villages being destroyed. Oh, they weren't at war. They've just declared war again. Oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, they were living in peace. I didn't realize. And now the poor geniuses, the engineers, they are being overrun. Oh, yeah. Kingdom engineers has been destroyed officially. Or has it? Were the engineers working on something? Did they know the world was burning and they buried themselves underground? And when the Age of Tears came in year 80, the rain put out the forest fires and then the engineers were allowed to emerge. And so the engineers came out of their tunnels. However, they'd been underground for so long, they turned into horrible old orcs. But the engineers of New Engineerland, they were still very, very intelligent. Yeah, so let's see how they get on. I mean, for now, it looks like, yeah, the sudden war of architects. 
well, it's ended, but it did also start. So the architects did actually turn on themselves. However, oh man, look at the numbers of them. They have really eaten through their resources though. So whether that will... That could have a negative impact. They have such large armies though. I am quite worried for these new engineers. I guess we just need to work out when will they be discovered by the architects. Because not going to lie, I'm, I'm quite impressed with how the architects have done. Considering they're all meant to be stupid, they've done a lot of expanding and uh, they got quite a lot going for them. Still, the new engineers, they are expanding quite nicely. They're doing the same technique of getting lots of different villages going on. They are getting quite close to the borders of the architects, though. Oh, no, look, the architects have declared war on new engineer land. And look at the size of their army. It's just a constant swarm of people. Oh, no, the engineers don't stand a chance. They are sending their army down. Remember, they are orcs. They should be a bit stronger than humans. Oh, wait, what is that? Why is this guy so big? Oh, look, he's a giant. That will be why. I mean, he is still stupid. But uh, he's about to turn 100 years old. So we can't be too mad. Oh, man. Engineers, I think it might be over for you. No, they started adding spikes to their buildings. That's proper engineering move, not architecture. They're trying to trying to defend their buildings. But look at the size of the army. Oh, dear. I mean, thankfully, there's loads of nukes. Where did they come from? That's a bit lucky. Wow, that's... Re <laughs> Is that what the engineers were working on this whole time? What are the odds of that? And so just like that, there were no architectural armies anymore. That is the trouble with architecture. Like their army looked good, but it didn't actually work very well. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's so many architects on this map. It's horrible to look at. Come on, engineers, you must fight back. Tell you what, perhaps we can give them some more perks because engineers, we know they're lucky. We know they're attractive. They're probably eagle-eyed, fast, and strong. So if we just paint that over these guys, we'll see whether that helps. Oh, no, what? No, the engineers are turning on themselves. Oh, no. <laughs> they've just... Okay, they've they've ended the war, but they are turning on themselves. I guess becoming one large settlement. Is that the more intelligent thing to do? Like, this place is going to be gone very soon. Yeah, but look at the size of the engineering army now. It is, it is pretty good. All right, so now there's only two kingdoms, literally engineers versus architects now. They can no longer turn on themselves, only on each other. But they're not at war currently. Uh, also worth note as well, the architects have now used up all of their resources. I mean, there's a couple of little ores dotted about, but pretty much it's all gone. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Down here, the architects are taking up the last of the area. And oh no, the architects have declared war. So there is a right battle going on here. You can see these guys. These are the architects. So what traits? Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were meant to be stupid. Why have they got the wise trait? Oh, I'll tell you what happened. They probably took over the engineers and some engineers turned into architects. Now, either way, they just got completely slaughtered by the engineers. Like New Engineerland, even though they're facing battles on all fronts, they are actually pushing the architects back. You can see their numbers decreasing constantly. So up here, they are taking this town. They're taking the one above and... Oh man, the engineers are actually pushing back. But here is a right battle. Oh my goodness. The amount of arrows coming in. I think there's only two orcs in there. They do have the bubble shield perk though. So they seem to be coping okay. Okay, that one died. He's like in a Zorb ball. He's like, you can't touch me in my Zorb. All right, there's, there is a big architectural army coming in now. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do much. Like the engineers, they did take out a few of the, of the villagers, but they didn't actually take them for themselves. They're just destroying everything in their path. Like up here, they've literally ripped through these towns. That's only got six population, five population. And they're still going, trying to get their hometown back. Yeah, I think the rage has just got to them. They maybe would have been better trying to take these towns rather than completely annihilating them. Although, if we zoom out, the engineers, they're actually going for it. I think there could be a comeback because all these towns on the border, they are just dying. Like they're sending in more and more armies, the architects. But look at the destruction of the engineers. Like he was down to one population. So is Reigns. And they're destroying the last building. Yeah, so that is another one down. The engineers are going for it. I love how they just like punch their way through. Like they're not taking anything. They're just like bombarding straight into the middle of towns. Destroying all the buildings. And oh my god, look at the number of lines. So that's the number of armies that are currently heading towards Engineerland. That is a lot of people on the way. 
Will they be able to defend themselves? Will the spiked roofs finally do their job? Well, actually, yeah, yeah, it appears so. It appears so. They deflected that attack. There's a massive battle in this town going on. This is right on the board. Look at the destruction. All right, I tell you what, let's speed it up a little bit. And let's just see if the engineers are pushing the architects back or whether the architects are finally defending themselves. From what I can tell, though, the, the architect numbers are dwindling. And perhaps we are finally proving that architects are overpaid. So yeah, oh, look at this. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. The demise of architecture is finally happening. Oh, maybe that's why the engineers aren't actually taking these buildings. Because they're all like, they've all got like cantilevered floors and curves curved glass walls. The engineers don't want that. All right, so unfortunately, it has just changed to the age of ice, which means the entire map is being covered in snow and ice. Whether that will slow the engineers down, I don't know. Oh, actually, look, the war. The war has ended. So I guess as soon as the snow came, the engineers and architects decided to have a truce, a Christmas day truce. Um, so for now, I guess they're just both regrouping. The architects have 570 people. The engineers just under 500. You can see 135 years have passed. The current population is 1100. We've had 6100 deaths. Uh, none of them were natural. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, none of them were done by me. They were all they're all done by engineers and architects. I definitely didn't have a hand in any of this. All right, so it looks like the engineers are expanding their village count. Architects seem to be just growing the ones they have. So we'll see what works out better. And looking at the architect buildings, you can see they have stumbled across some efficient looking designs. I don't think that was intentional. But you can see the engineer buildings, they're all well defended with spikes. They are still growing their armies as well. So perhaps there will be another war at some point. All right, so the good news is we're back in the age of hope. All the snow is melting now. So perhaps that will fuel more violence. Oh, look out. The architects have declared war again. Remember, engineers have just defended themselves in this. The only war the engineers started was the one with themselves. Generally, it's the architects starting the violence and then probably taking the most amount of damage. Because I think, yes, the original engineering hub, I think it is going to be, well, I would say taken back, but I think it's just going to be destroyed. It's been too infected with architecture. We don't want it back. Yeah, it's gone. It has gone. And look, the engineering army is just wiping out the architects. Why did the architects start it? They are not intelligent enough to know which battles they can and can't win. The engineers were peaceful, just minding their own business. And now they've been forced to destroy everyone. And just like that, we're down to the final few buildings remaining. The engineers are just absolutely on a rampage, destroying everything. The rich idiots... They are finally gone. And there's just one architect stronghold remaining, which I think is being swamped as we speak. Yes, destroy it. Destroy it all. And yeah, there's a hell of a lot of reinforcements coming. So I think the great clash of architects has ended. The architects were destroyed. And that was a completely fair battle, showing that whilst architects might be paid handsomely for their work, you cannot beat the intelligence of an engineer and they will always be better off. So on that note, I'll say thanks to the Patreons and peace, love, and intelligence. Bye, guys.